What's going on gamers, RC Styles here and today we are launching Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 5 and as I was talking about at the end of the Galactus event, there he is, Mandalorian himself. This actually has an entirely new layout so this is going to be a pretty lengthy video overview. But first let me go ahead and let's go over the whole battle pass. Okay, so first off you start with Mandalorian and he comes with a series of his own quest lines and stuff. What's up, uh, Rishi? Um, but unlike getting them all right away, then you have to kind of unlock them as you go. After him, you get the Rise of the Devourer, which was the theme music for the Galactus event. Then you have his banner icon. Of course, you get V-Bucks along the way. <laughs> uh, you might have to add me as a uh, epic friend and all that first, buddy. But if you do, it's uh, RC Styles. But back to my um, thing here. Uh, the Journey Wall Spray. Gunslinger. Loading Screen. Child. Razor Crest. That's the uh, glider for the Mandalorian. Oops. Oh, I fucked up. Now if you get a Grav Fusion Weapons Wrap, that's going to be for one of our upcoming characters here. Next is the Exterminator Wall <coughs> Loading Screen, rather. And Backling Dynamo Grav Suit. More V-Bucks. RGR Expression Emicon. Hyper Flight Contrail. It's going to be, um, the next character is Reese. And you have the Boomin emote. It kind of looks funny with the Mandalorian there. <clears throat> the dropout. The Nigeria Warhammer. 100 V-Bucks. Hunter Skyblade. Banner icon. Another outfit for Reese. Pancake Posse Weapons Wrap The No Witnesses Spray Stax Emoticon Josie Harvesting Tool More V-Bucks Diner Dive Mancake This guy is going to actually have some alternate styles as well coming up okay, so We have Flapjack Flyer Banner Icon, Syrup Slinger, Breakfast Bounty, Stack em High, More V-Bucks, Man Cave uh, Outfit, The Beast Fang Harvesting Tools, Unity Spray, Wild Heart Weapons Wrap, more V-Bucks, Nav character, Wild Heart Buckler Shield, which is her back wing, another banner icon, Eagle's Form, which is basically her uh, glider, it's kind of sick looking, uh, Harpy's Claw, her harvesting tool, uh, Reactive Hair for her, more V-Bucks, Another look for Mav. Shark Tooth Spear. Wild Heart Way loading screen. Uh, another Mav reactive tail on this one. It's quite interesting. I think this is actually the first character who would have something like that, particularly. Uh, more V Bucks. Uh, Mav Shield Breaker outfit. Soul Fall, Warrior Spirit, Crimson Wish Glider, another banner icon, more V-Bucks, 
Wraith, uh, Spray, Condor, Spirit of Vengeance character. He came up well with uh, Ghost Rider, and it appears he'll have his own little quest line there as well. I'll help you with the Mandalorian armor. Spirit Pact, back blink. Assassin Unknown, Motocon. Oath and Sorrow Harvesting Tools. Vengeful Shadow Weapons Wrap. More V Bucks. Vengeful Wish Emote. Looks like it's a transformation emote. Pretty nice. Star Power Remix. Chibi. Hyperboard. I think that's going to look pretty sick. More V Bucks. Oh no, Emoticon. Target acquired Contrail. Lexa character. Get Y Labs weapons wrap. No claw. Let's go Mecha Fusion loading screen. Be getting the Mecha Fusion interface. 100 V Bucks. Hunter Protocol, another transitional emote. Menace Reigns, loading screen. Legendary Back Bling, Shield of the Mighty. More V-Bucks. Another character, Menace, who also will have Mandalorian armor quest line available with him. Another banner icon. Menace with Mask. Victory Laurel's Emoticon. Victory's Flail, that will be his harvesting tool. Menace Challenger Appearance. Lion's Roar Weapon Wrap. Menace Light Helmet Appearance. Menacing Wall Spray. Menace Light Helmet Plume, that looks odd. <coughs> 100 V Bucks. Menace Undefeated Appearance. A Warrior Prepares uh, Emote. Menace Heavy Helmet Style. That's pretty sick looking right there. Banner Icon. Mando Emoticon. <laughs> PP as fuck. 100 V Bucks. The Child Pet. Where I go, he goes. And that just this is gonna function as his back bling there. And Mandalorian armor. If, it looks like that's gonna be his complete armor set. Which appears we're gonna need to do a quest series to finish that as well. That's pretty much gonna cover that standard portion of the battle pass. <laughs> as my wife holds up her stuffed uh Baby Yoda uh, stuffed animal, which in the most recent episode of Mandalorian, you actually find out what his name is. I am not going to spoil that for you. Sorry, guys. Okay, so continuing on with all of these, this isn't exactly any level. It's just like bonus shit that you get after you break 100. Another banner icon, another appearance for Reese, old school anthem, music, man cake. Alone, some hero appearance, bright box contrail, condor wrath, mashed potato emote, another appearance for Alexa, or Alexa rather, banner icon for her, another appearance for her, royal uh, royalty loading screen. Hmm. Could be the daughter of Midas. Mm hmm. Menace. Another appearance for him. And then a string of even more bonus challenges, which we will be able to come over across once we finish level 100. And not letting us know much except what each one of these could or couldn't be. Maybe specific characters, maybe to. Uh, more appearances for existing characters 
that'll be remain to be seen. Let me go ahead and see if this dude has invited me as a friend yet. No. And if you want that battle pass, gift it to you, buddy. I'm gonna need you to shoot me a friend request on Epic Games. But to continue on with our overview here, now we have the challenge area. The challenge area is actually broken up into three sections now. You have all challenges that's listed right here. We can actually look at the map, zoom in and zoom out to actually get your bearings before you really go in. And then collections. But going back here, you have the all quests here. <coughs> and then your XP quest breaks down by XP. Or you can break it down just by special quests as you see here. But let's take a look at them through all quests. First one on our list is there's plenty of work if you know where to look and that is basically complete bounties. You need to complete five of those in order to get five, uh, excuse me, 55,000 experience points. Uh, this one is a stage one of four. You're going to need to get shotgun eliminations and get three of those. Not sure what the rest of the stages are going to be quite yet, but we will talk about those as we get to them. Um, stage 1 of 3, you're going to have to discover name, location, new season, new map names. This should be a relatively easy one to get. Next one, we're going to earn weapon specialist accolades. Basically, get kills with all the different weapons that you have available to you. Uh, visit the Razor Quest. Razor Crest. You need to do that one time, and that's probably about where it's going to be right there in the middle of that barren area about where the authority used to be we're going to destroy fishing barrels uh, that appears to be that one appears to be either available in three hours and 38 minutes or you have three hours and 38 minutes to just to defeat it uh, continuing on, Ragnarok, uh, same deal. I believe that's when they're going to be available in the next three hours. This one you're going to want to have to do melee damage to structures. Uh, Sleuth, again, it looks like one that's going to be timed for on, on us. Uh, place a wire trap on any of the telephone poles near Holly Hedges. That's going to be the last set of opening quests for us to go over. Normally in the older videos I would have right about here stupid dances but because that we're in a new season and there's not really anything special in the item shop right now except for your battle pass stuff and then the old stuff that was in the item shop. What I'm going to do is ask you to hit the like and subscribe button, smash that notification bell so you don't miss out on more content from me and Gamers Purgatory. Make sure you join our Discord, there'll be a link in the description below for that, and as always, I'll be seeing you. Oh shit, what up?